robots were always for the big company, and you know, it was something really cool that we kept paid attention to, but it wasn't something we could actually uh, adopt. But then the, the price point started to come down, and we saw that it was something we really need to jump on board and start to learn about. We first in introduced automation through a, an LRM8 robot. We brought that in and just started playing with it, just literally playing with it, just kind of figuring out what it could do and how we could apply that technology. And then we identified the first application for it here in the shop, which was a, a butterfly valve disc loading and unloading that disc. We currently have 13 robots in-house, one overhead gantry feeding a lathe and a grinder, load and unload machine, four robots in another segment cell or another cell that manages the loading and unloading of sledding parts, pin stamping the parts, deburring the parts, dipping the parts, and packaging the parts. Then there's another set of four that do the exact same thing, and then there's three others that are individually isolated that would load and unload raw castings into a machine. Automation would be added to a process where the parts are consistent, the procedures are consistent, and we know that we can hit those procedures with consistency. The myth out there is that robots take jobs. Automation is going to steal jobs and produce and no one's going to have anything to do. And that couldn't be further from the truth. Automation allows you to take tasks that most people are going to find really monotonous and really things that people don't want to do and allows you to automate that stuff to make those tasks actually more efficient and at the same time taking those people and moving them to more value-added tasks, higher level skilled tasks, allowing them to get paid more and have a more interesting job and more likely going to stay with you for the long term. Adding automation helps our customers by keeping our costs down, keeping us competitive on the, in the world stage. You know, we consider most of our competition to be outside of the borders of the United States. And so what automation does is kind of takes that labor cost out. It allows us to spread that labor cost out over a lot more. You know, it makes it overhead components of a direct labor component. And that allows us to be more competitive with our customers, allows us to offer a cheaper price off the bat than we otherwise would be able to. Another advantage of that for our customers is the fact that a lot of our customers want to have local product, but they don't like to pay that local cost. So if we can provide a local product, but have that international cost, it's a win-win for everybody. Our, our next kind of leap, I think, is I see us going towards more of a cobots, where we've been focused on industrial robots. Where we have, we've visited a lot of places that have cobots and started to figure out how that might fit at MetalQuest. So I, if there was one particular aspect of robots and automation I see us going towards next, that's, that would be it.